everyone, I'm Dana, the Executive Director of Movement Exchange, and welcome to the State of the Movement Address. Since our last update, we've continued to come up with new ways to engage our students and community of dance diplomats virtually since the continued duration of the COVID-19 pandemic has meant that all of our in-person programming is still on pause. We're super excited that a few weeks ago we were able to establish regular virtual dance classes for Malambo and Aldeas SOS orphanages, as well as Barrio Activo in Panama. Check out some of these highlights from their new virtual dance classes. As we get close to the fall semester, we look forward to welcoming back all of our university chapters across the U.S. Although we know that it is going to be a challenging semester due to the different formats and restrictions on community engagement our chapters are going to face, we are super grateful and excited that we have an incredible team of dedicated chapter leaders who are looking forward to figuring out ways to continue to engage with Movement Exchange and their communities through dance, whether that be face-to-face -face or in the virtual format. Us as an organization, we are committed to providing different virtual opportunities to continue to make sure that our chapters stay engaged with one another and their communities. Stay tuned to see what we get up to in the following months. If you haven't seen it already, this past month we have been collaborating with LMU Dance Diplomat and Alumna, Kira Bria, to provide content and conversations focused on the intersection of dance and anti-racism. Make sure you check out Kira's videos and content that is linked through our Instagram platform so you can see her thoughts on the intersection of dance and anti-racism as well as some of her work and activism. Thank you, Kira, for sharing your voice and thoughts with us and for engaging with us in this really important conversation. Also, with the help of fellow dance diplomats at a vague dance troupe, a dance company based in Chicago, we are super happy that we were able to offer a two weekend long virtual Indian dance workshop series, which gathered together around 40 people from around the world to take classes in Bollywood, Bharatanatyam, and Bengali folk dance, which were all taught by members of Aveg. And last but not least, we want to formally invite you to attend our 11th annual virtual show that is happening on Saturday, August 29th. Throughout the day, we are going to be having a series of various events, including a Panamanian breakfast tutorial and discussion on Panamanian history, classes in salsa and Panamanian folk dance, and then culminating the evening with a happy hour where we also premiere a new Movement Exchange documentary by Taj Kakai that includes footage from our 10th annual show that was held last year. We hope you join us to celebrate 11 incredible years of moving to change, as well as showing our support for our Panamanian students, staff, and teachers. Please check out the links below to register and to get your tickets. We hope to see you there. As I close, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everybody who has continued to stay engaged with Movement Exchange virtually over the past several months. We know it has been challenging that we haven't been able to gather together to dance and travel in person, but we really are grateful that we've been able to cultivate a community that is still actively engaged in discussions and opportunities to engage in community building and cross-cultural communication through dance. It might be through Zoom, but we're pretty happy that we've been able to continue to see your faces and to continue to move to change together. And so with that, I hope that you stay healthy and keep moving to change. <laughs>